All right, boys and girls, we're gonna do a little overview today of the UPR catch can. There's the product number, had it shipped to me. I already got it installed, but I wanna just do an overview of what I thought about it. So first, when you unpackage it, you get these this piece of paper. It makes you go, what in the fuck is this? Cool, it tells you exactly what you got really know how to install it. So if you have a 20, I don't even know, this is a 2016 GM 62 and a Yukon Denali. And so what you do first, you mount the catch can. Oh, by the way, their bracket that they sell you, the washer doesn't fit flat. I'll show a little picture of that. So first I ground down the 13 millimeter bolt so I could fit that in there. And then the lines were too tight and it was putting too much pressure, too much pressure against all the fittings. And so I ended up having to flatten it out in the vise. And since I was kind of just brushed for time, I put some hose clamps on there. But damn, those are some good hose clamps to hold that bitch tight. And then they got these weird little like push fittings on here that I don't know about those. They slip over the, sorry. Let me get that. They slip over the hose and you just press them on. So I'm not 100% sold on those. Um, but then the, the hose on the left connects up into here into your PCV valve. And down in there, down there on the bottom, you can see a, another black fitting. So there's that hose and it runs down there. Pretty simple. You just undo the 5 16 on the in, throttle body, pull the intake up after you've disconnected your other two hoses. Slide that out of the way, then you can get to that bottom hose and that one runs to the right side. So again, it'd be nice if the instructions clarified one hose to the top of the motor to the left, one hose to the right. The one on the top's the shorter hose, the one on the bottom's the longer hose. So other than that, they give you a sticker. I guess that's kind of cool, but I ain't putting that shit on here. And that's the install of the uh, UPR catch can. Um, seems to, uh, you just unscrew, supposedly something about don't screw it too tight. You can mess up the O-rings, yada, yada, yada. So if you feel like you're in Hulk mode, just be careful. So brand new, haven't even ran it yet. Still crystal clean. And we'll see what she does, but so far I got mixed feelings about it. I'd almost buy the one for 80 bucks that looks exactly the same on Amazon instead, you know, I spent 150 and this is the shit I got. It looked like it was top of the line name brand and here we go. So I'll let you know.